I might have been a while, but I've been getting a few requests on where the demo section is on the Japanese PlayStation Store. It's actually completely changed now. With the launch of PlayStation Plus, they've reconfigured the layout. Um, it's similar to what it was before, but it actually makes it easier to find stuff. Uh, at the top is basically like your login for your Square Enix members, and just like it's basically like Japanese sort of game series and things like that. Next one down, I'm pretty sure that's latest stuff. So that's everything that's been released, pretty much well, like closest to the current date. Next one down, search by you know, Japanese alphabet or number, I'm not entirely sure. Next one down, now this is cool, this one actually lets you search for content by the actual uh, company that's made it. So you can see here there's EA, there's the Capcom store, uh, it's SNK, so basically if you know who makes like a game or something that you want, you just bust in and you can find it. Look at all those PS1 titles, man. I mean, the Japanese stores, it's full of so much stuff. What else is there? Capcom stores, you can fire up Capcom store. So they've all got their nice little storefront, it looks pretty cool actually. So that's Capcom, so that's everything Capcom makes. So it includes, like, it's got Resident Evil, Street Fighter, it's got everything in there. So all your add on content for Street Fighter. Um, yeah, massive store that one, but that's a really cool new feature, so you can basically just go to Konami, so that should have Metal Gear Solid stuff in it. Silent Hill. Bloody slow as at the moment, I don't know what's going on. Ah, there's some Metal Gear Solid. Peace Walker. Metal Gear Solid database. I've actually got that. It's pretty cool. A lot of information there. But yeah, that's a really cool new feature. So, Sega, like everything there. So, you can look up all your favourite games by who makes them. So, that's a real good new, new addition to the store. Now, click on PS3. Now, it's laid out pretty easy there. So, um, You've got themes there, you click on there, and you've got all your themes for your PlayStation, so you can go to those, download themes, and change the look of your XMB and PS3. PV is videos, so you can bust in there. There's the new Gran Turismo 5 videos there, so you can look at all that stuff. Now, I'm pretty sure that right there, uh, let me check this first one. Okay, so that's, the first one is your latest stuff. Again, so the first one is all your most currently released stuff. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. Next one. That was themes. Next one. Oh no. Oh, next one. It's add on content for games. So that's DLC. So map packs for Modern Warfare, uh, whatever. Sackboy from Little Big Planet Wears. Uh, Street Fighter costume packs, all that gear. Next one is themes for XMB. Next one is demos. So that's your demo section there. That's pretty much all the latest gear. Then you click on the 50. Then you can click on these. You can probably jump on Google and have a look and find out what the kanji actually means. Click on them, and that'll give you a list of pretty much all anything that's in there. You can check them out. But yeah, so click where it says PS3, and basically just browse. I mean, so many people are asking where the demo section is, but just browse. You can't really damage anything by just having a look around. I don't know what Enjoy is. Ah, oh, software updates, PS2, compatibilities. Okay, yep, yep, cool. Same for PSP, it's laid out exactly the same, so search for your PSP stuff the same. Uh, last one at the very bottom now is all the PlayStation 1 or PSX games. Like I said before, Japan's got a massive selection of. 
And you've got PlayStation Plus at the bottom. So I'll have to suss out whether I can set up a PlayStation Plus for the Japanese store. I'll have to work that out and I'll make a video on it. Anyway, that's it dudes. If you've got any questions, just ask.